Well, the Eastern Africa Green Council has signed a 400 million shillings financial deal with British government-funded Food Trade East and Southern Africa project. The money is targeting to upscale EAGC online green trading system GSOCO to reach wider coverage in the region, open more grain aggregation centers at farm level, as well as connect more certified warehouses to the platform. This is the second tranche of funding to EAGC by the Food Trade after pumping in 200 million shillings shillings into the project in 2014. EGC expects the financing to boost the entire green value chain where farmers will be sensitized on recently released East Africa community quality standards and grading covering 22 cereals and pulses. Farmers will also be encouraged to form groups and aggregates to the village level to create tradable volumes and enhance and earn more through economies of scale. <laughs> the phase two of the project is looking towards the rollout, the complete rollout of the GSOC system so that it, is, it fully gets roots and uh, it does get to deliver the various benefits and results to the smallholder producers, to the traders, to the millers and also to the consumer. What is in it first? Two, two items, I would say. First item is to support the communal farmer, the local farmer, that the local farmer has a better price for their maize, for their beans, for their rice in future also probably. And at this moment we focus on maize, but we hope to expand to rice, beans and probably other uh, crops. That's the first factor. The second factor is of course that it goes through the whole value chain, that all different people involved in the value chain have a better income from it, and that is more structured in a transparent way.